Shalom, Pastor Hawk, when back at you with the truth. <clears throat> giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kodash. Giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kodash. Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. And I'm going to entitle this video. We're almost at the finish line. Almost to the finish, finish line, almost at the finish line. We're about to reach the finish line. We can see the finish line. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Meaning the destruction and deliverance of the elect of Yasha Allah and the building up of the uh, house of David. The kingdom of heaven on earth is also known as the house of David, Amos uh, chapter 9. But something has to happen before the deliverance, the destruction, and the establish the establishment of the kingdom. The kingdom is already here in the form of uh, the Israelites, starting with the elect. The fact that we're on the highways and the byways, that's the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven suffers violence. What does that mean? In Matthew 11. <laughs> So the kingdom of heaven is here, and the, starting with the elect of Israel and the rest of Israel. But the kingdom is going to be fully established when the Most High changes us, delivers us, and destroys this place. One king, two kingdoms can cannot stand at the same time. So one kingdom has to be taken down, and now we are in the. Uh, the judgment stage of this kingdom, the judgment stage and the centering, sentencing stage of this kingdom. We are like we are lawyers representing the most high against uh, these criminals, the ease. And we we have stacked uh, evidence. To, uh, until the evidence reaches to the moon. All kind of evidence, who you are, who we are. This current system that we're, we're living in in the future. And you're also being sentenced. We're telling you what's gonna happen to you for what you, for what you did to us and really the world. Anyway, Maybe I'll change the title to We Can See the Light at the End of the Tunnel. Or oh, We Can Now See the Light at the End of the Tunnel. Any of those uh, uh, titles that I came up with, I threw, that I threw out, or the finish line or whatever, we can see the finish line. Anyway, I'm not going to make this long unless the spirit jumps on me. Uh, You're going to have to go to my page, um, my uh, my Odyssey page, because I put a couple of new videos up on my Odyssey page. There's one short video that I put up, and part of the, uh, the, uh, the title is the name Richard A. Werner. He's from uh, England. He's a, a prof uh, professor of economics. But he speaks, you know, he's very, very well respected among other economists and professors. You know, he speaks to the elites and so forth. Um, where I found out about him was this individual right here. Uh, George uh, Gannon, as you can see, this is called more. I guess this is another page. George Gannon, you got George Gannon, and then you also have uh, more George Gannon. So this is another page. Maybe it's a new page. I don't know. So he has an interview, Richard Richard Warner, or Richard A. Warner, on quantitative easing, credit creation, expansionary 
monetary policy. A policy is when you, the, 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 the simple answer, uh, way to break it down is a policy is government structure, they come up with laws, best way to describe it, and they vote on the laws and they impl implement the laws. Every, anything that government does is considered policy, you call it law. I mean, you listen, there's one video I was listening to, it's a long one, where is it? It was more than an hour and it was kind of getting boring. But these are mostly short ones. Okay, I believe this is the interview right here. Okay, this is the interview or the uh, lecture right here. Uh, how they prepare you to be slaves. So I'm like, let me see some. I'm like maybe 20 minutes into it. He ain't really ain't saying nothing. I gotta watch, listen to the rest of it. Okay, here he is, uh, I guess, in Turkey. Turkish audience stunned with one speaks facts on the economy. It was three months ago. Let me come back over here. Uh, we, okay, we crash crypto, so you use CBDCs. World Economic Forum, uh, CBDC versus crypto, which crypto, CD, CBDC is not, but a crypto currency or blockchain. And, but it's going to be controlled by the government. It's going to be, you know, world. You're going to have a world CBDC because you're going to have one bank. What is a central bank digital currency? Explain simply. You might want to watch this one. I'll see if I'll probably watch this one. But anyway. This is like the shortest one that he made, the, the video that came up, which is uh, the central bank uh, game plan in under three minutes, Richard Warner. And um, that's, you gotta listen to that one. This, this is also on my uh, Odyssey page. Most, most likely I'll put it on my, um, uh, what's this other page? Uh, What is that? Rambo? Whatever you call it. Wait a minute for a minute. Rumble. Rambo. Rumble. I'll put it. What I do is a lot of the videos that I put up on uh, the Odyssey page, I also put it up on uh, uh, Rumble. So this video, <laughs> okay, it says uh, Professor Richard A. Warner. Like I said, he's well respected as far as the, the economist world, the people that are professors of the economy, you know, global economy, geopolitics, because everything is uh, global now. It says uh, Professor Richard A. Warner, born in Germany. Okay, he's, he's German then. Or born in Germany, but he he's he has an English accent, so I guess he was brought up in uh, England. In uh, 1967, holds a first class honors B. Uh, so I guess that's a bachelor's of science in economics from the from the London School. So this this man's. He goes way back. <laughs> I was a kid. I was what six years old. This this man <laughs> this man goes way back. So he knows the economy. He's seen 
he witnessed co economies crash. He see, you know, oh, he, he, there's a video. I believe he did it. No, not him. Something else. It's another video. Let me find it. There's another guy you got to watch. Money will disappear from your bank accounts. A terrifying new banking system, which I'm definitely, I definitely got to watch this one with my main man, Jim Ricketts. Jim Ricketts explains the terrifying new financial system that has, that we here at Great Millstone been talking about, has, you know, when the scriptures say these are men wondered at, you're going to wonder, you're wondering now at GMS, has now been uh, signed into law and drastic changes, and dr drastic changes he sees coming. So I definitely got to watch this one. As a matter of fact, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to save it. Cuz he 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 comes with it. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, this is uh, part finance. Everything has to do with finance, eco economy. Okay, so I want to save this. Put in my favorites because I'm going to watch this later. Short video. Just looking at some of these uh, comments. Uh, digital currency will p uh, pave the way for. Ooh, uh oh, I didn't know that was. I didn't know that the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. You are the camp. You need to start following these children of the world. I didn't notice. I didn't know the spirit led me. I didn't know she was going to say this. I didn't know that. Digital currency will pave the way for if you do if you do not accept the you you won't be buying or selling anything maybe a ways off but this explains how it will sure, surely one day happen do not sell your soul someday your portfolio will mean nothing. Wow, I didn't know that. See, the spirit led me to the comments. You know, if I speak on the video, I don't go to the comments section, but look at this, CD, CBDC, MOT. And these are Edomites, man. I don't, I don't know what, what's up, but you dumbass, you stupid camps. They're putting two, two, two and two together. So maybe Jim Ricketts will speak on it. But I honestly didn't know this comment was going to come up. Digital currency will pave, pave the way for MOTB. So let me click on this person. Okay, that's a rock and roller. Clark Ridlin. Because there was a lot of replies. What was it, 13?
Okay, this video right here is only nine minutes long. I'm gonna definitely watch this. Money will disappear from your bank accounts, Jim Ricketts. So if it would dis if money disappears from your bank bank account, it has to be re replaced with something else. You you still have have to be able to buy and sell, right? Okay, you got the rebucanator up early in the morning. Oh, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's pretty late in the morning. CMOS, Gentiles in Acts 1347. Uh, Gentiles in Acts 1347 are Israelites. Because I believe uh, uh, this guy, Pastor Dow, he was getting on the camps, you know, getting on us, not just GMS, but all the camps that speak on the street. And he was, and I believe he, he did mention this scripture that the Gentiles can be, be saved, which he doesn't understand the scriptures. He's not all that deep. That's he's nothing but a Christian with a Hebrew with Hebrew Hebrewism <laughs> sprinkled on it. On it. Okay. So I'll catch up with this one. Uh, let me see. So like I said, like I said, let me come back here. Where's George Gannon at? Okay, I'm going to definitely, let me, let me put this on my favorites as well. I'm going to definitely watch this. Put, definitely put this in my, my, uh, Sorry. Some of my favorites as well. And if you go to my Odyssey page, um, you got to watch the last four, four, five, six videos that I put up. But George Gannon featured in one of them, and it's like 11 minutes long. When you go to that one, you got to go to the ninth minute. Matter of fact, let me do this. Let me see if I got it. Okay, this this video right here is an important video. This was up, put up uh, three years ago. Anyway, you got to watch this video here. The real reason they want to ban cash, shocking insights. Reveal. You got to watch the whole video. It's only it's less than twelve minutes. But if you if you don't want to watch the whole video, you can go to about the ninth. Let me come over here. I'm sorry. Let me come back. Okay. So he mentions him. A negative interest rate rates and the war on cash. So he mentions Richard A. Warner, and then he quotes. From um, look at this. So th this this is the, one of the most you got Oxford and um, Cambridge. Those are the two top most prestigious colleges on the planet. You know, followed by uh, like Yale and Harvard. But you know, everything comes out of England. The intellectuals come out of England. You hear a guy come, he's, he's got degrees from uh, Oxford and so forth. He, he knows what the hell he's talking about. And none of these guys equated to the scriptures. They just speak on this subject, MOTB, based upon uh, economics. So whether he didn't mention it and he knows it, but he mentioned him. So right about here, Nine minutes and twenty nine seconds in, you get you watch it, you watch that, which is what two two minutes and change, but watch the whole thing. But if you're lazy, you want to jump to the chase, just go to nine like nine minutes and twenty nine seconds in.
Okay, which is also in my favorites. The real reason they want to ban cash. So it's actually explained right around here. The children of this world are wiser and their generation than the children of light. When I was watching this, I put this in my favorite. Uh, uh, this is the, that movie, Emancipation. And pretty much <laughs> they showed the whole movie in a nutshell. And you get mad, you get mad. And for you weak ass Negroes out there and you other people, Oh, you know, that was so long ago. Well, those were the white man's foreparents. They, 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 they wasn't them. You know, when you read, if you got any a backbone, you men out there, especially you dumb ass, you monkey minded Christians out there among Jakes, you're worse than Vocab Malone. The ones of you Jakes that follow Vocab Malone, you're worse than Vocab Malone because Vocab Malone is an Edomite. So he's trying to, you know, cover his ass. And here you are, you, you've been blessed with the fact that you're an Israelite and you're coming against the Israelites. The Most High, the Most High has got a special place in hell for you. You just ain't going to make it. It's too late in the goddamn game. But anyway, let me come back over here. What the hell, what the hell happened? So watch this, watch this interview. I haven't seen it as of yet, but I'm gonna watch it as soon as I and watch yeah, this interview right here. And especially, especially watch this lecture or a snippet excerpt. Anyway, um, with that, I'm going to say uh, shalom on to the next one.